Dynamics GP includes a nice tool to allow you to easily reconcile your inventory to your general ledger. Let's take a look at it. The first thing we want to do is go to our financial area page and go to routines and then reconcile to GL. It brings up this window here and I've got a couple of options to reconcile my payables, receivables, inventory, and bank rec. We're going to look at inventory here. I've already created one. Let's take a look at the one that I have did just recently here. So this is reconciling my May activity and you can see that I've got those activities in balance right now. It's looking at my inventory transactions and it's looking at my general ledger account activity and these are my general ledger accounts here. I've got a couple. These are Fabricam accounts. So I've got about 10 or 12 that represent the financial aspect of my inventory. I want to keep those in balance. So you can see here I've got a little running total here. I've got my beginning balances, ending balances for the subledger, which is the inventory system and the general ledger. They are now in sync. Let's take a look at the results of this tool here. I ran the reconcile and it produces an Excel spreadsheet here. Let's reduce it a little bit here. And what it does is it shows me all the transactions on the left hand side from the inventory system and the general ledger transactions on the right hand side. So you can see these are the totals coming from the system here and they're currently in balance. And what this tool will do is show me unmatched transactions, in other words transactions that are in either the inventory system or the general ledger and are not in the corresponding system. That also shows me potentially matched transactions which means some of the aspects match, others do not, and then the totally matched transactions, where here I'm matching my inventory transactions to the general ledger transactions. And you can see they're listed here and they're in balance. So as of May, the end of May, right now, I've got my inventory transactions in balance with my general ledger. So let's take a look at um, a problem we might create for ourselves to see how this might change the reconciliation. So let's go back here to great appliance and let's put in a sales transaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this little sales invoice here. I'm going to post it. And when I post it, it's going to create the sales invoice, but it's also going to relieve inventory by creating inventory transactions. It's going to create a general journal entry too for the journal ledger, but I'm not going to post that journal ledger entry yet. So so here's the general ledger transaction that was created when I just posted that sales invoice. Now I'm not going to post that. It's sitting in an open batch right now. I'm just going to leave that. Then let's go back and run the reconciliation on the inventory. So go back to reconcile to GL and I'm going to create a new reconciliation. I'm going to select inventory from the drop down. Now it maintains my list of accounts that make up my inventory values in my general ledger. It also uses an output file that will that Excel will use to create the results report. Um, I want to change the dates here to May so we get the right information. And then I'm just going to process the reconciliation. So it's going to go and look at the transactions and in inventory and the general ledger. It's going to produce results in Excel and that will be coming up right now. And these are the results here. So you can see here that I've got unmatched transactions. These are the sales invoice transactions, but because I did not post the general ledger transactions, there is no corresponding transactions here. So I've got unmatched transactions that leads to an unbalanced situation down here. You can see that right there. So what I want to do then is kind of analyze this. And you'll notice that some of the lines here in the Excel spreadsheet have links to data in GP. So if I click on that, it's going to open up the uh, transaction and you can see that there's no journal entry for that um, transaction because it hasn't been posted yet. So that would give me a clue that, oh, I need to do something, go back and look for that post, that transaction and post it. And you can see that even on the um, posted transactions, here are the ones that are matched. I've got links back to the information in GP as well. So here's the journal entry for a transaction that posted properly. You can see that here and contrast that to the exceptions here where I open that up and there was no general journal entry information. So this report gives you not only the results of your reconciliation, but it also allows you an easy way to try to figure out what's wrong with that system and bring those two systems back into reconciliation. 
So the reconciliation of inventory to the general ledger is going to be really helpful for you if you've got a lot of general ledger accounts that represent your inventory in Dynamics GP. If you're not using it already, I really suggest that you start using that. I think you're going to really like it.